Tiger since his debut last year. Please welcome Brandon Ellis. <laughs> Brandon, welcome to Mangrove. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's, it's a delight. Now, just tell us a bit about Tigerland at the moment. It must be a happy place to be at. Oh, yeah, no, it really is. Everyone is up and about. I think we've won four in a row now, so we've got a big game this week again, a weekend against North Melbourne, so it's going to be a good battle. Now, this year, obviously, you've significantly improved. What, what has been the main sort of direction from the coach and the, the assistants this year as far as the team's concerned? Oh, just to be more competitive, whereas last year we lost, I think, was eight or nine games, maybe under 15 points. So, you know, to get that competitive side out of us and stay in games longer and, you know, to win those close ones. So, I think, yeah, to be a more competitive this year. And, and Brent, last week, it was just an even spread all over the ground, where in past uh, Richmond's, uh, you know, sides, where it's yeah. only been the one individual standing out in the back half or in the middle or in the forward line. This time, there's a, there's a real even spread about you guys at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, there definitely is. And I found that last year when I was playing, you know, it, if Kochi or Lids had 35 plus, we'd end up winning. But now I think the last four or five weeks, the highest possession getters have been 25, 26, and you know, and under. So there's no, like we've shared the load as you said before, and there's no been, uh, there's no guys who have um, had high possessions and you know been, been winning. Yeah, uh, Brendan, um, when when you were a young kid, did you, uh, where did you play your football, and uh, how did you get drafted into the, um, into the I AFL? played at West Coburg Football Club, which is in the Essendon district. <laughs> Footy League, and um, I played there for 10 or so years, and then I went through the Calder Cannons program in the TAC Cup, and then um, I was lucky enough to get selected for Vic Metro, so I got to compete in the national championships, and then, yes. yeah, I went to draft camp, and it was uh, four gruelling days of testing and interviewing, and, you know, meeting all the coaches, which is, you know, it was pretty daunting, but pretty cool at the same time, and then, um, yeah, I was lucky enough to get picked up by the Tigers at yeah. pick 15. Well, someone was saying that you were an uh, avid uh, kangaroo supporter. Is that, is, is that so? Yeah, I was a mad uh, North Melbourne supporter when I was younger. Um, my cousin's nan, Judy Francis, used to take us in the rooms when I was oh, younger and got to meet the duck. Lady. So, um, was the, the yeah. duck your favourite player, was he? Or? Yeah, he was my idol growing up, oh, so okay. yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> 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 I've gone, I've gone, I've gone, I've gone out. I, I, I'm glad you said that because, it, and, and I'm sure, uh, yeah. I'm sh not, not, <laughs> that, not that, I was talking about. Uh, uh, in terms of spreading, the, the spread in uh, possessions, like you, all of a sudden Koch and Delidio they, and, and also Rewalt don't have to be your best player. And I'm yeah. sure Damien Hardwick has said during the week, because I think the highest possession winner last week was Koch and, yeah. and it was 24 possessions. Yeah. So that's not a lot in today's footy. Mm. It just He must really highlight the fact that you're playing team footy. Yeah. And let's be honest, the best team last year won the grand final. Not the most flamboyant, not the best individuals, but the yeah. best team. So that must be the most pleasing thing. No, it definitely is. And, you know, we found that we've got a lot more depth this year. We've got Grigger stepping up. We've got Dan Jackson stepping up. And, you know, Shane Edwards is taking his game to a, yep. another level. So we've got a lot more midfielders in there as well to take the load off. You know, Lids, Kochi and Dusty. So, uh, no, it's been really good. And Dimmy has been really pleased with that. Brandon, it's been quite some time since the Tigers have played in the final series yeah. and I'm just wondering whether internally the pressure's starting to build on the playing group and the expectations yep. from outside the club and uh, whether these guys are feeling any sort of excess pressure at the moment. Oh, to be honest, we haven't spoken about it at all. I know it's going to real, sound real cliche, but you know we are taking it week by week. You know, we've got it's a tough five weeks coming up. We've got um, I think North, Gold Coast, Frio, Hawthorne and Sydney. So... Um, you know, if we can win maybe three out of those five games and we'll see what happens from there. But um, we'd love to win them all and we'd love to play finals. But, um, yeah, just got to take it week by week at the moment.